Okay, let's see. We've got a built-in cutter. And see that? Cut the bag. And I think I need to put this in here like so I guess I don't know and then we're gonna seal it seal it okay I'm gonna seal one end of it oh it sealed it okay so it seals it on this line here Okay, now we're gonna put the cheese in there. Yeah, see we can't we can't finish this big old thing of Parmesan and we usually end up throwing half or a quarter of it away, so I'm gonna put some of it in the, this vacuum sealed bag and then put it in the freezer. So let's see if I can get propped up here. We're gonna do back and seal. Wow, that's really nice. Wow, look at that, it just, Sucked all the air out of there. I'm gonna label it, put it in the freezer until we need it. Okay, vacuum and seal. Takes a while, about a minute. to uh, suck up. Should be almost done. One minute so far. Almost done. Still new at this. I just opened this thing up about 20 minutes ago and I'm testing it. I watched a few videos. Now it's done. So. 
there. I'm trying out the Inkbird Plus V3530 vacuum sealer. Taking liberty to take it out of the box. It was very well packaged. Comes with a roll of your vacuum bags that you can cut to any length. It also comes with some narrow bags that are pre-cut. This is for your canister vacuuming, which does not come with the machine, but can be purchased separately so that you can vac seal canisters. And here's a spare part, I believe. Couldn't find where it's required to be installed on the instructions. The instructions are easy to read about five or six pages. Over here you have several settings. Seal only. You get to choose your food type, dry or moist. Vac and seal combination. If you want a pulse seal, like if you're sealing up something soft and you don't want to squash it, you can control it. And this is for your canister again, which does not come with it and is sold separately. When you open it up, it's very simple. It's got a set of instructions there. You take your roll, you put it down in, and you raise your cutting bar, slide your roll across to the sealer, which is this element right here that goes all the way across. You get it just past that, lower your cutting bar down. Close this and it will click on each side. Two clicks. Seal only. And what that's going to do is seal one end of the bag. Alright, that lasted about five seconds. There are release buttons on both sides. One, two. Raise it up and you can seal this. See, this bag has been sealed. You pull it out to the length that you desire for whatever you're sealing. I, for this case, I'm going to put some shrimp and give it a test run. Right now, what I'll do first is cut the bag. I believe my shrimp will all fit in that. This cutter, you want to start it on one side or the other. And just press down and slide it across. And your bag will slide out. Of course, this side has not been sealed yet. Let me fill the bag and I'll be right back. As you can see, I have the shrimp in a new bag. And I made the mistake earlier of bringing the bag up too far. Oh, this is your suction or your vacuum area. And I had the open end past it. I also found that this foam gasket was a little bit loose, probably because the system is brand new. So this time, I'm going to make sure the cut edge of the bag, which is the open edges, in the middle of that. So I'm going to go ahead and seal it. We have the moist choice on and I'm going to hit back and seal. We'll see how it goes. Drew it down quite quickly. Waiting for it to seal. the seal. See the indicator light just went off. Let's open it. We have a firm well sealed package of shrimp. Perfect. All right I've been asked to uh, review the Inkbird Plus V3530 vacuum sealer already removed from the box, so I kind of knew what I was doing when I made this video, kind of knew. Um, when I got it out, it came with a spare set of bags. It also came with a roll of bags. Uh, it came with, an, and I had to figure this out, it came with an extra, I believe this is Teflon, to go on the inside of the vacuum sealer, but mine is already in there, and the one that's in there is black. This has a yellow and black side, so I'm guessing the yellow side is the sticky side. And it came with an extra seal for the vacuum area, which 
I'm gonna order some spares just to throw in the box, just in case down the road I, I need them. But it, it was quite simple. I already did, I already did my first bag just to try it. So basically, you stick the roll in there, you pull out the amount you want. It's got to be underneath the cutter. Take the cutter and just slide the cutter across. Then you have your size of bag. And you have to figure out these would be moist, but you have to figure out if you're using dry or wet. First things first, you take and you put the bag where it's just on a little rubber strip so that when you close this, it's holding it. When you close it, push down on each side and make sure that it clips. Then you hit seal only to create the bottom side of the bag from the roll. The red light is still on when the red light goes off. You can push the buttons on the side. And the seal is created on the bottom side of the bag. And I'm surprised at how strong it was because I played with the other one trying to uh, tear it open and it, it didn't. So we'll throw in our contents. Now when you place the bag in there this time, the bag edge actually has to be in that little the little pocket in between the two seal lips. So you just kind of set her in there. I'm going to flip the bag over because it went curved the way it was on the roll. Then you just push down and you clip and clip again. Now this time we're going to vac and seal. And I already have it set. You can go dry or moist, but I, heard, I already had it set on moist. Hit vac and seal. And you'll see the lights coming up. Here at the ceiling. Now the red light's on, that, that would be the heating light. The heating light is now sealing the bag itself. Just wait a minute, wait for the lights to go out. And then push each button on each side of the vacuum sealer. Pull it out and boom, sealed up, nice and tight. No air, no spaces by the cucumbers. It's perfect. I will say that I'm impressed with this product already, so I'm gonna let you guys go, try yours. And I got one more bag to make. You guys have a good evening. this amazing ink bird vacuum sealer the quality bags that come with it it's just gonna be an amazing piece of equipment with already name tags and a great uh, instruction manual I'm loving it I think it's gonna be amazing